All right, we're hot. Should I arm? No, no. Ready? Yep. Three. So I've been looking forward to this weekend for a very long time. For, there's a bunch of different reasons why I've been excited about it. I'm not traveling for once. Like for the last month, I've been to Puerto Rico, Boston, Las Vegas. I'm going to California next week, which is great. I'm not complaining, but I just haven't had enough time to like be home filming and, and doing projects and having fun. So the other part of this aspect is that about Four weeks ago, we had a race at NDGP, and my buddy Kevin brought some model rocket rockets. Yeah, he brought model rocket rockets, like the engines for them. And he brought a couple. Um, they're basically they, they basically have a scale where like A is the the highest power, and like F or something is the lowest. And he brought some E grade rockets, which are like they're not tiny, but they're not huge. We strapped him to the back of the quad just for fun and lit it off and it was it was incredible. So we're just going ahead and strapping two of those rockets right to the quad. Now, FAA, this is not against the rules. This is not a projectile, it is simply added propulsion to this machine here. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, yeah, you do that. <laughs> I think it's gonna go a little bit. It's, it's, it'll, it'll be noticeable and funny. But I don't think it's going to be all that significant. But it's funny because it's a rocket-powered quad. All right, so we're going to hover pulse quad until the... Ah, oh, fuck. I don't even know. What, what are we going to do? Just... I don't know. We've got this oh, much cord. I don't cord. even know what we're We've doing got, here. Mm, 10, 15 feet of cord. Yeah. So... That's... What does it pop there? We don't have, like, a remote launching system. No, we have so a battery. we're just going to... We're just gonna hover the quad within range. Within range, and basically short it out to light these. Make sure that. Oh god! God, I hope this. Please don't fire off right now. Oh no, it's not. Let's it not will. leave it that can't. antenna pointed up like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm putting my quad. Okay. Radio on. Jesus. I should tighten this down. I need my goggles. The antenna is probably going to get what? toasted. <laughs> but as you can see, it's heavily used. Uh, we've, got a, we've got some hot rockets over here, so give us a minute. This brought, bad idea brought to you by White Noise FPV. <laughs> You're a leader in. Are we using any race wire on this? Or? <laughs> uh, there is race wire in it. Just, oh. just hover. Hey, let me fill with my phone. Take it off. Just hover. A little higher, 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 higher. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. It worked. <laughs> it looked pretty cool. <laughs> the antenna! Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> it's a little toasty. It looks amazing. The GoPro is yeah, I very GoPro. sad. Hey, oh no! <laughs> he just he just picked this up I think you today. Just, you just that off. It's fine. Yeah, his GoPro looks like shit now. You got the one. No, it's good. It's good. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the mount though is so melted. So what? No, it's not. Yeah, look at the bottom. Oh, huh? it is a little bit. <laughs> that antenna was go, uh, sacrificial. In full flight, go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see the video. It's That 5C rockets. That is 5C rockets. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, that's a good start right there. 
Okay, so two was fun. Now we're gonna switch over and try five, apparently. It's a poor quad. All right, we ready with five now? Yeah. Oh, that looks horrifying. Yeah, get our double mid air. <laughs> I love that shot. Whoa, whoa, hold on, let me not point this right at my face. <laughs> that would be really bad. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, shit, we had some after fire. That was amazing. Three, two, one. That was so phenomenal. Look, and then you pull up. <laughs> but we had a really limited system pulled together to actually make it happen. So this time we're going all in. Kevin's got some bigger rockets. He's got a like a remote activated switch system to be able to activate the rocket from distance. And we're gonna kind of film a little video in uh, making rocket quads. So what I hope for this is gonna be the behind the scenes. And then we'll also have a whole nother video that is just the primary footage. So can't wait, let's get over to the track. Cause I didn't have a mount for it. And I was like, oh, I don't want to just like put it on there. Like, That's how I do it. <laughs> what is something wrong with that? <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, buddy! What's up, boys? Hey. What you got there? A little special surprise. A special surprise? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Those are huge. Oh Just got Those are there. bigger than the rockets I remember when I was Subspace. a kid. Subspace. <laughs> yeah, because you can't buy these. In the Wait, stores. so what size are these now? <laughs> these are D12s. We have to special order them. I just want them. Yeah. How do you feel being on the business end of that? That's fine. These seem bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Remote starters, right? You're gonna put the igniters in, cap them, power this thing up, and then right before we go, we'll plug it in. And then it's luck. And then it's armed. Yeah. Dang. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape these igniters to one of the motors and then plug it in. The, and so. The, the explosive motors. Yes. So, when the parachute charge uh, goes off, it's going to eject the motor. What's a parachute charge? It's the, uh, I guess, the last stage to... It's a little blast that, that allows for the parachute to pop out of a rocket uh, in the model rockets. And if we tape this, the, these wire harnesses to the rocket, when that parachute charge goes off, it pops out the motors, and it'll yank this end of it right out of the igniter. So it's all nice and clean, so you can keep flying. Yep. You just have your little rocket boost. Exactly. A little awesome. boost and then you're gone. Dan, pretend like you didn't know you had rockets at the end yeah. though. So the goal for today is to have basically two different products. The, the first is going to be like a two minute really quick pithy kind of video that shows off like the fun that we're having with this. And then the other one is going to be this vlog, right? So this is kind of the behind the scenes, like all of the setup. And so the idea that we're going for is that I'm going to be trouncing Kevin. So pretty much normal. And... <laughs> <laughs> and uh and then you know so we're gonna shoot a couple scenes of like you know just racing happening i'm crushing him every single time and then 
he's going to come in and we're going to get some sort of shot of him being like, I've got an idea. And then the very next shot will be the quad like preloading and then so just like this. And as it preloads, it reveals the rockets and the, the first shot is just it going and just totally decimating me off the wall. And then through the magic of movie making, we'll also have it fire off again later in, a ra in the race for him to just keep getting further and further ahead. I think it's gonna be good. Kevin's troubleshooting because his quad was fail-safing. <laughs> I think he had a flight controller or something that it's always there's always something wrong with the synergy <laughs> no nah, it's he's uh, something's wrong with the receiver he, he he pulled it out of the the maybe bin and it, it was definitely not but i want to fly this thing for a bit and it's going to be great <laughs> We've been working on filming the opening chase and racing sequence, but uh, it's kind of boring. So we're going to switch to this instead. Is that hot right now? Almost. Oh gosh. <laughs> so what's this little thing you built here? Okay, so this is the igniter board. And what we did was I wanted to avoid uh, writing code on such short notice. So I made a board that basically does exactly what a pit switch does, except it uses a larger MOSFET. So now you can see the light, and that light means that it's hot. Sick. All right, we're hot. Should I arm? No, no. Ready? Yep. Three. Stayed in. One stayed in. The one with all the wires. Dude. So, that's why so Winston's up? got the shot here to see. That's why it blew up. Dude. No. Stop this I'm finding it. <laughs> 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 oh, <okay. laughs> oh, wait, Hold on. <laughs> that was that stayed in frame fucking perfect, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I went straight up. I went straight up, though. <laughs> oh, 
But I, uh, his angle might have been too much. Oh, that is it. unreal. It's one of those things you hope it works that well, and then it does. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was unreal. Like, that was exactly what we were hoping for. And better. Remember when I said this should be fun? <laughs> that is so good. Two, one, go! <laughs> So remember, I'm good. Winston, fire, otherwise knock it off. Yep. yep. Okay, we're hot. So for both race sequences, we need these little cutaway shots of like me winning against Kevin and Kevin winning against me. But like for whatever reason, can I even see that? There we go. Look at that. It's so sexy. Come on, you, Kevin. And then I take the lead, and it like snaps over to me. It looks so good. It's a snapshot. But you know, the whole point is to you know just have those cutaway shots, those like just fun little moments, and. Uh, but I keep winning these heats and Kevin keeps losing them. So we're not getting in Someone's a not going fast enough. victorious reaction. I keep reactions. rear ending him. He's blaming me for getting hit out of the air. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. But it's so, it, like, we're just trying to like ham everything up a little bit while we're actually racing. It, it's just funny. All right, so we've officially wrapped on the the whole production that we were making. Um, we came up with some pretty good little transition shots and have some funny ideas. So I'll save those for the video. So you gotta go check that one out. Um, and now we're just flying around, we're messing around. We've got the whole track to ourselves. We're not flying the track because we have a race coming up and that wouldn't be fair at all. But we're just enjoying flying the X-Class to chase some uh, of the other drones or some planes were flying freestyle D Winston got to try the DJI quad out for the first time um, and it's just it's just a nice afternoon of, uh, of flying and have some fun with fun with friends so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and let this tail off with some extra flight footage I've got um, I'll, I'll kind of talk about or I'll show what each thing is and why like I think it's really interesting to see the the x-class footage chasing the planes and stuff like that uh, and then but in the meantime uh, once that's over We'll be out of here, so stay flying. Mm -hmm.